Hey, Carol, thanks for the time. Uh, is there been any transition from playing at Cal State Northridge to playing in the Mountain West in San Diego State, or is basketball basketball? Uh, basketball is basketball. I uh, just got to find the right opportunities to just uh, be able to get my shot off, find uh, find more opportunities to try to, um, to try to just shoot more. And um, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> I just feel like um, it's definitely just been all about just gelling with the other players pretty much and just trying to figure out, um, you know, where I could find my spots in the offense and things like that. So we're working on our offense right now, and, um, you know, I, I think i got some, some big games coming soon. Uh, you had a couple of really good games, and then the last group of games you really seemed to struggle to find a shot. And then when you came back in that second game at Utah State, they ran you differently in the offense and got you different looks, and then the ball started to drop again? Uh, yeah, well, you know, I, all I need is just a little bit of space to get a shot off. But uh, my shots were falling. Um, uh, we pushed the ball really well. Um, you know, we ran some sets where I just come off of a floppy, which I, you know, really do really well. I play off of uh, pin downs really, really well uh, um, off the jab. So I really try to uh, score, in that, score in that way. Um, I finally got to the line once. So I just got to continue to just get back to that, uh, get back uh, being aggressive and um, – just try to even even when the defense playing me tight, still not allow a team to take me out the game. I still gotta uh, be able to produce for my team and um, be aggressive. After the last game, uh, I'm sorry, before the last game, Coach Coach Dutcher said uh, told me he, he wanted you to hunt your shot a little bit more, which seems like an odd thing to say to a, for a guy who averaged almost 20 points a game, um, you know, in his in his previous stop. Um, what, what did he mean by that, and why do you think you were not looking for your shot quite as much? Um, you know, uh, this is a really good team, and um, you know, I don't want to throw the team out of rhythm by like taking certain shots. So, but um, you know, I, I understand what he's saying. I got to be really, really aggressive in order for this team to, to really help this team. Um, you know, my last uh, few games, uh, I should have taken more shots, um, but. I understand what he's saying, and I got to just follow through with, with what he's doing, even if, like I said, even if defenses are playing me tight or even if I feel like we can get a better shot. He, he just he just explains that uh, one of the best shots for us to have is uh, with, me, with me taking a shot. Whatever, no matter what uh, the possession is, how much time is on the clock, he trusts me offensively, so I got to just do that. You mentioned not being able to get to the line. Um, why do you think you haven't been able to do that quite as effectively uh, here? Um, you know, usually I get to the line a lot um, in transition and then catching the ball off the jab on the wing. Um, you know, I've been playing off a lot more ball screens now. Um, so when I catch the ball on the wing, I'm not really able to play off the jab how I usually do. Um, but this past game, I had an opportunity to, uh, you know, get the ball and then uh, attack from the wing. And then I got to the free throw line. And I, uh, actually, I felt like I got fouled like uh, on another occasion, but they didn't give it to me. But... I still just uh, continued to play, and I felt confident, even though I didn't get the foul call or uh, you know convert the convert the basket. I still felt confident about that play. The last thing uh, I asked this to Jordan. I mean, you you I probably haven't been in this position before of sort of being on the NCAA tournament bubble, uh, which is where you guys kind of fall right now. Jordan kind of said the mentality is we, we can't lose anymore. Um, do you kind of feel that and sense that in the team? And is that pretty accurate, this, this, you know, this picture of, of, of how you guys are approaching these, like, these next 10, 12 games? Most definitely. Um, everybody's talking about, like, the most – I mean, the next 10. I'm looking at the next 12. Um, uh, I know what it's like now to put on this San Diego State uh, uniform. Um, I felt it in Utah. The teams really want to beat us here. Um, but, you know, so I'm looking at the next 12 games, like, you know, we got to win. So I think it's very possible, but it's going to be a grind. So, Hi, Jerome. Um, a few weeks ago you talked about um, the team needing to play a little bit more of tempo. Um, now that it's been a few weeks since you delivered that message, um, could you reflect on if they've listened and how you guys are progressing in that manner? Yes, uh, we've been playing a lot more up tempo. Um, now we just got to be able to find the right court, the right, the right court balance when we do play up tempo and fast. Have a few times where we're playing uh, fast and the floor is unbalanced, um, so we got to just be able to play fast uh, and in control. I think lately, which is not us, we kind of turn it over a few times what we usually do. I know uh, the first game in Utah, a couple was you know um, offensive screens uh, they called, which I felt like you know which were which weren't right. But uh, we got to just continue to play faster how we are, but just balance the floor 
And like I said, um, guys like me and Jordan, even when guys teams are playing us tight, we still have to find ways to be aggressive and help our team. We got to figure it out. Um, and then today is, is obviously a very important day for the nation. Um, is there extra significance being able to travel to a service academy um, and being able to play a couple days after you know a new president is sworn in? Uh, yes, I think that's pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm glad that we have a new leader, um, and I, uh, I'm really just thankful to just be an opportunity to view different parts of the world. And um, so I think that's pretty nice. How was your um Oh, brother, I can't think of the word, but breathing at elevation in the second game compared to the first game at Utah State. And did you notice a difference playing at elevation? Um, and specifically, did you notice a difference between the two games? Uh, in the first half of the first game, I was like really, really tired. Um, but second half of the first game and from then on, I was fine. Uh, I felt like I got my second win. But uh, first half, I did. I, I came in the locker room of the first game. I told some of my teammates I felt like I lost like five pounds, but uh, but uh, after that though, um, in the second half I was fine. Uh, I just I just didn't convert any buckets for my team, which I would I, which I have to do. Um, but um, I'm looking forward to these games um, at, uh, at Air Force. I'm really gonna try to condition myself uh, today to really get myself in shape. Uh, you know, so. Okay. Very cool. Um, and the the. I don't know if you've played this long enough yet to get a feel for playing the same opponent twice within three days. Are you enjoying that rhythm of the season, getting to face the same opponent uh, twice within a two or three days? Uh, like Dave said, um, this is a player's dream. You know, you get to uh, come back and you know face face a team who beat you once. It, you know, so I kind of I kind of like it. You know, I, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I think it should be uh, from here on out when um, when seasons go back to regular. Um, I think in some situations, not throughout the whole season, but I think some teams should play back to backs. Um, but uh, other than that, um, it's, it's not it's not a bad thing. But I think it should be a method that should be used in the future every now and then. You know, maybe a team or two uh, each play each other back to back. Terrell, does your mentality change at all if you are coming off the bench? Because obviously you were starting previously at, at CSUN. How does it change now coming off the bench? Uh, a little bit, um, you know, coming off the bench, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, your first three to four shots are important, you know, and, uh, you know, that could depend, you know, how, how you're coming off the bench and, you know, that could depend on your playing time in the second half, uh, depend on, you know, your first couple plays. Uh, so, you know, most definitely, but, um, I talked to coach Jay Morris about it and he was just telling me, don't worry about your, your percentages or, you know, um, don't worry about uh, your first few plays. He's just, he just told me just play basketball, just do the best I can, don't worry about anything, and just be free. So I just got to continue to be free, but there's no excuses. I got to be better. Um, I have to find opportunities to score like I would anywhere else. Um, I've played with, um, you know, a lot of great players. I played against a lot of great players, um, you know, so I'm just looking forward to just um, having a – uh, next great 12 games to help my team and I think we're all capable of uh, doing that and a lot like I said before a lot of us are saying next 10 games um you know um not mentioned in the last two and I know why people are doing that but it's for me it's the next 12 games and then could you see your role potentially changing in terms of starting or coming off the bench in the absence of, of Matt right now uh yeah it, it could potentially change um I'm just um trying to help my team as much as I can Right now, I'm just focusing on just getting uh, practicing and getting better at the things in practice that Coach Dutch wants. Um, it could potentially change, but in order for that to change, I have to be a little bit better. Um, I don't think I'm playing horribly, but I'm not definitely not being myself. So I have to just continue to to just up my game, up my swagger, like Coach Ack would say. And then, um, you know, we'll we'll definitely turn this year around to San Diego State basketball. Troy, you win. I think 105 or 106 college games without. Uh, having a zero in the scoring column, which is a pretty remarkable achievement. And then it happened twice in three games you didn't score. Just take us through what, what was that like mentally for you, someone who's so used to scoring, and, and how much of a, a jolt to your system is that? Uh, I mean, I know I know it's tough, but, um, you know, basketball is a humbling game. Um, the great Jim Herrick um, taught me that. So uh, with basketball being a, a humbling game, I had to just swallow it and just let it go. Um, I mean, I'm be honest. You know, I was at a school where um, 
you know, I was able to shoot the ball 16 times a game. Um, my, my, even if we're down by uh, 30, my coach is leaving me in, uh, letting me just play. So I, I was playing really, really free there. Um, now, you know, I still have to bring that same freedom that I had, but now it's a little bit more structured because it's a winning program. Um, you know, at my last school, only two people shot the ball. So um, now I have to be able to still be myself and still be that same efficient players with other great, great people around me, and uh, it, it'll lead to wins. Was it like like the night after that happens, or that happened the first or second time? Was it was it a rough night for you? And do you have to sort of have a talk with yourself, or have you got to the point now where you know it might happen again this season, and you just have to roll with it? Well, um, when I when I have tough games, I have to have tough games being aggressive. Um, the last game against Utah State, I was 0 for 2 when I looked at that. So um, I didn't give myself a chance to play good or bad. So a few of the games where I didn't, where my scoring weren't um, up to par, I didn't even get. I felt like I didn't give myself a chance. And but when I caught the ball, I, I didn't really like the opportunities that I had, so I kind of got off of it. Um, but I got to just be aggressive and try to just find ways. That's what that's what the great players do, and just find gaps, find opportunities. So that's what I got to do um, in order to score for my team.